Apparently I need another guest today. Guest means alcohol. Good evening everyone, and welcome to Day 24 Vita, Vlog Every Day of April. My name of course is Artemidge, and today I'm going to talk to you a bit about one of the cartoons I've really fallen in love with, Samurai Jack. Watch out! Now, I just caught up on the newest episode tonight, and there were so many callbacks. Not as many as I was expecting, they left a few ones out, like the Shaolin monks that he trained with and venture to a new time portal for. But all in all, this was really a great episode. Just a reminder of all the things that Jack has done and the purpose of him continuing on. Now, I didn't watch Samurai Jack when it first debuted. Uh, at the time, I was more into one of Tartakovsky's other pieces of work, Dexter's Lab. But eventually, uh, I don't remember what it was at first that made me shy away from Samurai Jack. But once I gave it a decent look in about 2006 or 7, I watched through the entire series in a matter of about a week, and I was really blown away by their styling to it. I mean, the aesthetics were simple, but conveyed everything well. The sound design was phenomenal, and the fact that it was absolutely uh, followed the tenets of show, don't tell was astounding. I mean, especially today, you get a lot of TV shows and movies and miniseries and things like that that do exposition as kind of a big dialogue dump. Basically you have an extra character there who just kind of supposed to spill out all this stuff and inorganically just catch the audience up on what's been going on. Whereas we have Samurai Jack here, as I said, very much a show of show don't tell. So it's very dialogue light, the action is sparse and very comic book style where you might have, here's a frame where Jack did a thing, here's a frame where Jack did a thing, and here's a big frame where a cluster of things is going on. And it's dynamic in a way that is very organic and very enthralling. The action isn't what I would call Matrix style top notch, or even good kung fu movie top notch, but if you look at in the aesthetic is presenting itself as, which is kind of like a comic, it's beyond serviceable. It's simple frames that give you a direct idea of what's going on. It's impactful, you can feel the strikes, and when it combines with the sound design, even the simple things, like I remember in the old series, there's this one scene where Jack follows this girl to a house that is haunted by ghosts, or spirits, or something. Regardless, they're, they're non-corporeal beings. The simple things such as Jack walking up the stairs accompanied by this eerie creaking as he walks up, the blowing of the wind, it's, it's all so perfect and sets the stage. While not directly show is giving you that insight into what type of environment we're in and Jack physically exploring it. Now I don't know too many people personally who have not experienced the show yet, but if you happen to be amongst them, I definitely say check it out. It's absolutely an experience that I have yet to find in any other sort of show. But if you want to see that done exceptionally well, Samurai Jack is the way to go. You have five seasons of gloriously well-crafted, passionate cartoon. So that's all I've got to talk about tonight. Everyone take care of yourselves and each other, and I will talk to you tomorrow.